All right, guys, we got three sets, 10, 8, 6, with 515. Now, these plates you see here, they're actually uh, 45s. We weigh them. They're just a smaller diameter, a little thicker, smaller diameter than your standard plate. So we kind of got them on discount, I guess. Um, first set, 10 reps here. I got you on 0.5 zoom. This is not a very big room. But the nice thing about working out in your own home gym, you can work out almost naked. <laughs> All right. This. Felt really good. Solid. The way I squat is very glute dominant. You know, I don't have a super wide stance. Definitely people out there with wider stance than I, but. I definitely sit back into my hips a bit more. Um, you know, you got some people with super close stands, knees very far over toes. If you can get away with it, absolutely do it. Um, especially if you're if you're focused more on just building some mammoth legs. If you're focused a little bit more on the strength aspect, then you probably want to load the hips a little bit more. At least have it even. Uh, this way, you know, hopefully you'll be able to move a little bit more weight. Now, there are, of course, moments and times where even if your goal is maximal squat weight and physique is second, maybe. It's kind of a little bit how mine is. But if my goal is, if my primary goal is how much can I squat and my physique is second, that doesn't necessarily mean that I should never squat narrow with my knees going over my, to my toes more. Because um, you, you can use variations in squats to, there's a couple things you can do. One, you can call a new PR. If you're squatting with a different stance and you hit a weight you've never hit before, but that weight is a hit you've hit with your normal stance, that's still a PR because you're changing the technique up. Still a PR. The more often you win in life, the better things are. You know, I was just listening to a, 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 um, a, a passage from the Bible, like, you know, not super, super knowledgeable in that, all, all that stuff, but. Anyways, in it, it talks about this guy. Um, basically, the phrase is, those who have, those who have what will have more. Those who don't will not have more. Or will lose more, will lose everything. I don't know. Those who have stuff will keep regaining stuff. Those who lose the stuff will keep losing stuff. Excuse me. Why am I bringing this up? Because you want more wins in life than losses. You want to be put yourself in position to win as much as you can. Right? They shouldn't be easy wins by no means. Still should still be challenging, should be still be something that you overcome and be proud of. 
where you have to be able to win more. So if you come to the gym and let's say, you know, I don't know, you squatted a, we a weight you've never squat, you squatted a weight you've squatted before but with a different variation, or if you've done something and you've made it more challenging in other ways than just the weight alone, it's still a win. And that's gonna boost your, uh, your mentality, I should say. Boost your mental health. Because again, like I said, you should face yourself with challenges, but these sh challenges should make you work hard in order for you to overcome them. And then when you overcome, it's a win, all is good. Now, does that mean you're not gonna have glasses in life? I mean, take it from me. I had the chance to have a world record, all time world record, and I blew it. You know, shit like that's gonna happen. But if we look at a bigger perspective, still getting stronger. I, I know I'm strong enough to take that world record. Just didn't happen that day, you know? All right, enough talking. Now we got a set of eight. We did a set of 10 before. Now we got a set of eight. The music going. Nice top. Bell. Get some air in. See if we can squat a little faster this time. with the weight on my back. Got one more side. Six reps. Not saying it's gonna be easy. Of course, we need to put 110% in every single rep we do. But pardon me if I say the hard part is over. The hard part. It's the more fun part though. I hope when I make these videos, someone hears something I say, helps change their life for the better. Right. So it's, it's not evenly distributed. It's like all my left butt cheek. Dang, bro. That's set that six. Make these speedy, make them move. This is an Ohio power bar, by the way. Girlfriend got it for me for my birthday one year.
right, just finished about my leg day with program. I want to hit uh, some straight bar bicep curls because I want to hit more biceps in my program. I love training biceps. I love curls. Um, I think probably the reason is because you always see the big strongest guy curling some heavy ass motherfucking weight. So we're going to hit 135. We're probably going to do some higher reps, keep the form good. I do hit biceps program, but later in the week. So we don't want to go anything too crazy. No drop sets, no sloppy form or anything like that. Keep everything good, a good stimulus to get bigger, stronger, and better. All right, here we go. When you do your curl, you want to bring your elbows in. Supinate up, elbows in, boom, just like that. Step one, done. All right, today is Thanksgiving, one of the nation's greatest holidays. You know, it's a day to be thankful, eat a lot, spend time with people you care about. Don't let anyone tell you different. It's about putting differences aside and coming together. You know, you see a lot of people, they, you know, obviously some people's families and circumstances are not the greatest. Uh, the situations they're not the greatest. Hopefully you can surround yourself with some good friends if that's the case. But uh, they, they often talk down on holidays. And I think that's just kind of a negative way to live life. Why not? Why not celebrate? But anyways, it got me thinking about food. And not that I was ever really a super low carb person. But in the beginning of my fitness and strength journey, I hyper focused on getting like as much protein as possible, minimizing sugar intake, minimizing fat intake, and just, you know, I was eating like a bird. And then I it relaxed a little bit and I, I put on a little bit more weight. But it wasn't until I prioritized eating carbs, so much more, so many more carbs that I was eating prior, that I started to really put on muscle. Like I went from like 230 to 250 carbs. Carbs eating more frequently. And I know, you know, people talk about, you know, they, they want to clean up their diet and stuff like that, which is all great and all. But in the end, if you want to put on muscle, you got to fuel your body. Whether that be some chocolate milk or that be, I don't know, whatever. Chocolate milk, turkey, steak, rice, shit, a good Wawa sandwich. It's time to get huge, boy. Thanksgiving's the holiday for getting huge. I'm watching me call this shit. Thanksgiving.